Hello everybody and welcome to another hobby cheating video and we're going we're to try a slightly different format today. Today we're talking about painting white vehicles and so when we're talking about working with white on a vehicle we are getting out the airbrush so we're starting here in the airbrush booth this is my solution i'm narrating over this instead of uh because it's so loud we're beginning with a little cyanide gray as you can see there uh i'm going to show you mainly on the wing because it's a nice big flat open part where i can uh really display kind of what i'm doing and what's going on so we're going to show you on one side of the wing and then you'll kind of see the rest of the vehicle jump forward in each step as i do that off camera but the reason I'm starting here is because I'm laying down a nice darker brown tinting over all the black on my zenithal, uh, all the black and dark gray. So I started with the standard zenithal highlight, but I don't want to try to lay down uh, any kind of white tone, even over the air, even with the airbrush uh, over that. And that's the most important lesson with white. The key with painting white as opposed to a lot of other colors, especially on a vehicle, is you need to build it up slowly. So we laid down the cyanide gray, we covered up all those darker parts, and now we're gonna go to the next color. So, our next color, you can see we've got that everywhere, is light brown. We're still not anywhere near white, right? But you'll notice with the cyanide gray, I didn't cover everything. I left the brighter, real light gray parts of my previous work. Uh, I left that more or less intact. Because now, with the light brown, I'm gonna come in and basically cover over everything. I'll try to leave a little bit of that cyanide in the deepest shadows, especially next to those the little elements of the frame in between the wings, but you see I'm being pretty aggressive with it. So this is the first layer I'm laying down where the goal is to cover kind of everything, right? Uh, and again, one of the tricks when you're doing white is you really want to try to build it up in these nice, uh, thin, smooth layers. White can very easily get chalky. If you, One of the things I see people do wrong often is they try to jump all the way to, uh, to just straight white, like right away. They just get out there like, oh, I wanna paint a white vehicle. Let me just get white out, white paint out. It feels like the right answer, but it's not. It's just a good way to get a chalky, ugly, spotty vehicle uh, or to get work. By the way, these same lessons are also true with a brush. Uh, the exact same thing I'm talking about here with this would also apply to the brush. The next thing I want to point out is that you'll see in how I'm working, you see how when the paint dries, like look at the lower parts of the wing right now on screen compared to the upper parts where I'm working. See how much dimmer that is this is the next really important lesson anytime you're working with light browns or whites or anything like that they will dry much 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 darker than how they look when they're wet it's a big difference that's because they are still largely transparent paints however when they're wet they have a sheen to them. The natural gloss of it is reflecting white light and making it look brighter. So you see here how I'm working thin. You notice how I kept like, I tried to make nice, even, thin coats. And now I'm going back over my previous work a second time and really trying to build that layer up nice and gently, okay? Uh, I'm, I'm working ratio-wise here uh, with this light brown. This is one to one with thinner, even though this is already an air paint. Okay, so now I got a nice coat of that down. Thumbs up. Next color. You can see we got the rest of the vehicle there. Our next color is Ra Radome Tan, or whatever it's called. It's something like that. Radome Tan. It's like a very, very yellowy white uh, out of uh, Vallejo model air. It's one of my favorite, like, off white colors. It's a great canvas color, which is what I'll ultimately want these wings to end up as. Uh, so it's just a great base for the white in general. Once again here, you can see that you notice I'm leaving a fair amount of my previous work uh, there around the very edges. If I was doing the vehicle itself, this would be in the shadows, right? So you'll see like on the vehicle where I've left shadows around the sides 
of the those red porthole windows uh, on the back toward the rear, toward the port of the ship, I guess. I don't know. I don't know ships. Uh, on the poop deck. So the here I'm just kind of, again, following the same thing. And once again, you're going to see I'm covering a lot, but I'm leaving that edge still visible. I'm not worrying about moving too fast. I'm just doing a nice, soft, gentle, thin layer of that white. Once again, thinned one to one uh, here in my ratio. Uh, and I'm just working multiple layers. Once again, you'll see as it dries down at the bottom, we lose some of that brightness we had originally. So I kind of going back and I'm just touching up those additional areas. But the key is again to just build it up nice and soft and gentle. I'm also using these later steps to kind of correct anything. And I'm really focusing with additional layers near the edge of the wing, right? Where I want it to be really bright and really thin. So I'm just kind of working and building those thin layers. Okay, so now we get to the next color, which is going to be Ivory from Pro Acryl, a wonderfully bright near white. It's a, it's a warm white, but it, uh, it fits in perfectly. Here, I'm just gonna come in and now I'm covering much less space, right? Now I'm focusing just towards the really the central part, what's going to be my high highlights. In this case, I'm doing a big wing, but if this were true on the front of the ship, I would be just hitting the lower part of the curve where that curves out. If it's the back of the ship, I would be doing the tops of the, the portal covers and the center of the back of the ship and so on, right? I'm really trying to focus in on those areas towards the center and towards the edges where there's going to be a nice bright white. And you can see because, again, we're working, now this is pro, or else this is not air paint. So this time I'm uh easily two to one with thinner probably more drifting towards two and a half to one so it's probably like seven or eight drops of thinner to a couple of drops of paint but you can see then we get a nice even smooth coat as we're continuing to build that up and that's the goal we want to get that you can see that soft subtle transition out to the rest of the wing finally we're going to go when we want our nice pure white we always want to use an ink because that's going to leave it wet and uh and, and it's going to be much more smooth once again we're thin two two and a half to one and we're just going to go ahead and uh get a little bit of that white notice here i'm focusing just toward the edges right we're working just toward the outside of the wings uh toward those very edge edge areas very center areas those places that we want to really show the brightness of the light shining through uh and then i uh, you know i'm blowing it off with the air i was using my hand there as a visual cue to myself to know that i'm when you see me moving the airbrush like that i'm not i wasn't actually blowing paint i'm all of this is just using air as you can see it's kind of wet it's a very thin white and again, when it's wet, it will look much brighter. So I need to dry it. So I'm just using just air out of the airbrush. So there's no pullback of the trigger, but I'm using that to just get it to dry and fade so I can actually see how white it's gonna end up and then determine if in fact, yep, the job's a good and we're ready to go. So now we wanna add a little bit of subtlety to these wings. So here we've got some contrast Agreros or, uh, uh, sorry, Skeleton Horde. Uh, there's two different brown colors I'll sometimes use. Uh, again, this is thinned out one to one. Contrast is already very thin. I just used standard thinner. Okay, just standard good old uh, Vallejo. My, my normal mix, which is 80-20 uh, Vallejo uh, thinner to flow improver. And you'll see what I'm doing here is I'm focusing on the struts. Aha, that's what those are called. They're called struts. Now, you might say, but Vince, why would you go and darken your work? Why didn't you just leave the earlier browns there? Fair question. Well, the answer is because this brown going over a white color, like a, the white color I've built up to, is going to look very different than this brown as being the base because paint is transparent. 
the more layers you add, the more visual information you're communicating, and the, you, you get the paint looks different based on what's underneath it. So here you can see we added back in a little bit of that subtle change to yellow and sepia tone through the skeleton horde at the, the sort of base area of the wing. And that was really the goal here, okay, to, to sort of rebuild some of that. Now we're going to take some of that ivory, and I'm just going to, that's my final touch here, is thin it way, way, way down. This is three to one, and my goal here is just to bring everything together and kind of smooth it out. Some of that white ink is a little harsh. Some of the agrera, or some, sorry, some of the skeleton horde is a little strong, right? You know, when we're spraying it and we're, we're just working, it can be, uh, you know, we're working fast and there can be little parts where it's kind of uneven. This is effectively our final glaze. And I realized I scooted him sideways here and then forgot to scoot him back because that's the kind of brilliant person I am. See, there I remembered. Uh, at least I remembered halfway through, better than I usually do. But the idea here is I'm treating this hyper thin pro acryl ivory as basically a final glaze coat to tie everything together. And there you can see we've got a nice even coat. So there you go. That's how you get a nice, smooth, clean white. If you liked that, give it a like. Subscribe for additional hobby cheating in the future. If you have additional questions, drop them down below. But as always, I thank you for watching this one. And we'll see you next